What's cooking, you fitness fans? Welcome back to your old lady's favorite YouTube channel. And today we have something very special for you. We're going head to head. Julian, your boy, talking prop bets for you, Vendor. Stick with us. Let's do it. Ciao, ragazzi. Welcome back to the Bianca in Arizona. As I said, we have a new special program for you guys today. We're starting a new, uh, this will be a new series we're doing throughout the rest of the season. Before I say anything, though, I'm Justin Sofro. He's Julian Giannotti. And today, today, what we have for you is this new series that we're starting. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to put your boy head-to-head -head against Julian Giannotti. And I'm going to look bad. And he's going to look good. <laughs> and then we're going to have some kind of uh, punishment at the end of this thing. But what we're yep. doing today, it's a new kind of game show for us overall where we will be doing prop bets, Juventus, stats that could happen throughout the match, Who's going to be more correct? Who's going to be more wrong? And then, of course, how will we be punished at the end of the season? Or maybe we'll have it some way in between the season. We'll see. We haven't figured that out exactly yet. Yeah. But that's the point of this show. We're doing prop bets head to head. Julian, you ready for this? Absolutely. You're you're going to get cooked. Oh, absolutely. You know, you know your skin's cooked right now from going to Florida? Oh, you're yeah. You're cooked all year. All oh, year. It's going to be done. I'm going to be done, son. <laughs> so I'm going to try to think of a way. So here's the thing, guys. Before we get into this, before we do our predictions, so basically what we're going to be doing, though, is we're going to be predicting different statistics, different things that could happen during the Juventus matches. Obviously, different little stats, whatever, what happens with different players, different goal scored, different little things that could come up. They're all going to be random. If you want to give us ideas for the future, you can yep. join in with that as well. Of course, if you're in the member squad, this is a good time for me to let you know. You guys should remember to join the member squad. While we're join, joining the member squad, you get a lot of cool benefits of that. And with that, you can give us some different ideas of things that we can do on this channel. Obviously, it's very cheap. You can afford it. $225. Uh, i am not telling you you can afford it. <laughs> if you can't afford it, consider joining the member squad. You get cool benefits. You get the loyalty badges, emojis, uh, depending on which... Uh, which level you're at, you get the monthly wallpaper, you get Discord, and then, of course, you get the giveaway priority at the top level. Uh, consider doing that. Help support the channel today. And another free way that you could also help support the channel right now is hitting that like button. Give us a big thumbs up. Help us to you know feed the freaking algorithm and help us throughout the season while we slog away, hoping that Max Allegri doesn't kill our hopes and dreams right away, which it seems to be going that way. Yep. All right. Oh, okay, and then the last part of this, and I'm, I'm going to shut up, and we're going to get into this actual game, <laughs> is we're, we're going to need your all's help. We are considering options. Basically, it'll be a penalty, and it's not a penalty yep. kick. Like, I'm not getting a free kick. I'm getting a free <laughs> kick in the nads is what I'm getting. That's what we're talking about. That is exactly what we mean. We, we're going to be giving a penalty to one of us, whoever does end up losing it. Is it going to be me as, as we are both projecting, or is it actually going to be Julian? Will he shave the head? Will happen, Oof. even though he told us he was going to shave the head for Vlaovic. Didn't happen. Still, still waiting for it to happen. Um, the sides got shaved. It did, that was weak sauce. That was absolute weak <laughs> sauce. I'm pretty sure that was just exactly what you wanted to do anyway. Yep, it, wasn't it was. A, yeah, it was, it was the style. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> so anyway, you guys help us come up with a penalty. Maybe it, it doesn't have to be the same one overall. It could be yeah. maybe one for each of us. Like if Justin loses, <sighs> Julian brought this up, this idea. The beard goes. Oh, the yeah. beard is gone. You just get fat face. That's all you get is just baby fat face. Uh, Julian, <laughs> shaving the head would not be bad. We'll think. We'll, th we'll think of different other ideas. We can do penalties. You guys yeah. help us. Leave them in the comment section down below right now. Now I'm going to hand it over to Julian. Help us open this bad boy up. Let's start it. Prediction show. Pick them. Julian versus Justin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay. So we got five... Uh, props like Justin mentioned before mm -hmm. and with the, all the statistics involved so the over under and the counting stats that are going to happen here we're using fought mob so fought mob is an app and the every number that is going to be counted for this uh these shows will be used by fought mob um obviously different stats or different stat websites have different uh numbers or counts that's why we are justifying it now yeah. <laughs> it is fought mob <laughs> It is not Squawka. It's not off the Paul or whatever. It Some people like to be mom. a little bit more, 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 more nice to certain people. Like to be negative yeah. sometimes. You know, we're not yeah. doing. We're not doing. If this player gets a player rating of this, and then you go to yeah. um, whatever it is, and they give everybody eights. We're yeah. not talking about you, that guy who's in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> okay, so let's get to our first one. Um, 
It, it, it's, I gave a good number here. Mm -hmm. Over under the amount of crosses Kostic attempts to, or tomorrow against Maccabi Haifa or tonight, whenever you watch this video. Yep. Um, you go first. Mm, I, uh... <laughs> oh, let's, pref let's preface this first. Yep. We can both say over and we can both say under. Okay. So we yeah. can both get five points at the end of this. This is going to be, yeah, this is going to be an ongoing series that we're yeah. going to be doing, like I said, throughout the season. So they can yep. all add up. I could literally copy Julian the entire time. And then we'll <laughs> that's why I said like, you go first. Gonna, yeah, that's why he's going to have me to go first. Because he knows, like, oh, this dumbass is going to go, you know, be wrong from the beginning. All right. <laughs> Julian, his very first question was, over or under the total amount of crosses, Kostic attempts in the match against Maccabee Haifa, setting that number at 10 and a half. Um, I think I'm going to go under. Ooh. And my reasoning, I, I, I really fought with myself over this. I thought about over. Um, I thought about over. Um, just getting Maccabee Haifa, giving whatever's going on with this, um, and then going against obviously Bologna, having what nine? I think he. I think you told me yeah. that. Before, little transparency before the show he gave me that number he gave me that one number okay um maybe i should have done a little bit more research before coming into this but that's also probably what's going to make this fun is watching us me it's me look like a jackass and that's that's gonna be the fun of this all right i'm gonna go under the reason i said that if he had nine against bologna especially in a game that i think he I, i've been i've been harsh on him overall throughout the season i don't think cold stitch has been good like, I don't think he's lived up to be um, the player that I think they Juventus really want. So I'm going to say under because I feel like that was a solid game from him, actually, that he had, and he only got to nine. And I think Bologna is – it's it's hard because I know you, sometimes you compare City A competition with, like, a Maccabee Haifa, who should be – Juventus should be able to steamroll them anyway, though this Juve, when's the last time they steamrolled anybody, especially in the Champions League right now, they're getting embarrassed. We'll see. So I'm gonna say under. Okay, lock it in. Lock it in. Locked. Okay, consider that locked. You're saying under. Locked and loaded. <laughs> so on the contrary, turn up the knob and rip it off. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> on the contrary, I'm going over. Um, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna battle whatever you just said. So Bologna was a, was a very bad team. We know that. Everyone knows that. Maccabi Haifa is worse um, for all intents and purposes. They are worse. Um, mm -hmm. They don't have the same squad as as Bologna. They don't have the Arnautovic. They don't have the defenders that they do. They don't have the midfielders that they do. Fair. Kostic was pretty good, like you said. We all pointed mm -hmm. that out, except for his crosses. Now, this number is not completed crosses, which is very key for me. <laughs> if it was completed you crosses, I would go bitch. way under. This is... <laughs> this is attempts so mm. we're going over yeah. i think i'm going way over i think and I, it doesn't matter it, it doesn't matter if i say way over if it's 11 i win i get the point so i'm gonna <laughs> lock it in and i'm going over am i i'm already sitting in the feces i'm i can already feel it <laughs> now i've already i already locked it in so i'm screwed over you know what the next one you're gonna go first you're going to okay. go first on the next one. Not every single one's going to be your boy. All right? Okay. So you got me <laughs> under. You got him over. We'll see how this works out. Maybe Cole Stitch will trip. You know, maybe a little ankle sprain. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, maybe yeah, just here, right? <laughs> I'm not saying that I'm cheering for our own players to get hurt. I'm not. I'm not saying that. I promise. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not a huge Cole Stitch fan, but at the same time. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. All right. Next prop, we got an over under for the amount of attempts for Maccabi Haifa. So an attempt is a shot at goal. Doesn't have to hit the target. It could be over, it could be wide. Um, again. So it doesn't have to be on need, goal. It doesn't have to be on goal. Okay. It can go like, like I said, over the net. It could hit the post, go wide. Um, just as long as it's an attempt or a shot at the at the net. Okay. So I'm gonna, oh, you want me to start this one, right? Yeah, this one's all on you, big boy. I know I just said. <laughs> I know I just said that this team is like not good to, compared to Bologna, but I think they will try and counterattack us. They're going to sit back and counter, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go attempts over five or over four and a half. So that could be like a header uh, directed at goal and a miss, you know what I mean, off a corner. So I'm going to go over, and I'm going to lock that in. Yeah. Um, all right. 
Uh, you, you locked that one in. Actually, this one, we're going to be the same on this one. And it's not, I promise, it's not just me copy and pasting what the, <laughs> what the, what the teacher said or what the student said. Um, <laughs> the guy next to me, that's what I did. I mean, that's how I got through college and high school. Right? <laughs> no, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually kind of smart. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Don't lie, Justin. Anyway, okay. <laughs> I'm going to go over as well. I think how many times have we seen Juventus just get dominated on shot attempts or just, just efforts overall? Uh, you, you know, Juventus will end up getting one out of like they'll have two shots on goal or something. Obviously, this isn't just on goal. But how many times do you see uh, other teams consistently get way more shot attempts uh, off against Juve? Hopefully, defense will, will, will hold, hold firm <laughs> in this situation. I'm not trying to crap on the team right now. This is a fun show. <laughs> this isn't a negative Juventus show. This is going to be fun. All right. So I'm going to go over as well. Lock it in. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's your lock I, it in tune. I need to get something that will like allow me to change my voice when I do this. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> All I knew was Darth All I, all I got is Darth Vader. And uh, James Earl Jones that's is going to sue me. He just retired the boys, so I can't do it anymore. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I think it's only he retired, but, you know, it's fine. Yeah. All right. That's it for all number right. two. Yep. Well, let's move on to the third one. Mm -hmm. Over, under, the amount of goals scored from midfielders in the game. So that's on both squads. So Juventus and Maccabi Haifa. And then what constitutes as a midfielder yeah. is whatever Fought Mob says. So oh, if we go four me. four <laughs> if we go four four two uh -huh. and Di Maria is is playing alongside Vlavic, he yeah. is a striker. So it doesn't count. If Kostic scores a goal, he's a midfielder, so it counts. Have you looked at how Fought Mob has that or is this not something you, we can't really tell, I guess. We can't tell I until am. the game yeah. So when we when we look at the game before it happens and it shows you the formation and I see Kostic playing on a left midfield in a four four two, that's mm -hmm. a midfielder. Okay. If it's a four three three and Kostic is playing left wing, he's a he's an attacker. Okay. And I'm going first on this one, of course. And you're going first. I am going first on this one. Um you know, honestly, me personally, I'm thinking over this. I mean, when it comes to Juventus, I know nothing about Maccabi Hype. I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't name, I couldn't tell you a damn player on the team. That, that's me. <laughs> That's me. I'm being honest here. Um, yep. When it comes to Juventus, I look at this, the squad and what we're working with, and especially if you're going to use it under however um, Fop Mob is going to lay it out, I'm actually going to take the under. I'm going to say under. Okay. I'm going to say no midfielder score this game. Uh, I feel pretty confident. Um, overall, I would say Mac be high with it. It'll probably be more their striker if they find a way to get on the board. And then for Juventus, Similar kind of situation. I think it'll be a situation where um, it's not going to be somebody utilized in a midfield uh, situation. And lock it sure. in. Lock it in. Nice. Watch Love me get that. bleeped at the end of the season. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> okay. So, speaking about this one, I'm going over. Just because <laughs> there, are <laughs> there are multiple, multiple midfielders that are going to be playing in this game. And Son of a bitch. <laughs> Is Dusan Vlavic going to score a goal? Maybe, sure. But I think we might be scoring more than one goal tomorrow. And I think Maccabi Haifa is literally scoring only from a set piece or mm -hmm. a counterattack where the trailer comes in and scores, which would be a midfielder. So I'm going over. And again, all I need is one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all I need is one goal. So if it's Rabio finally scoring a goal since the first game, since match day 38 of Pirlo season, yeah, he's had a banger. so be yeah. it. Yeah. So be it. Yeah. Just give me the one, and I'm going to lock that in. Lock it in. Uh, yeah. One of the things I will say, honestly, is I actually feel kind of confident. Now that you were talk now that you talked a little bit more about it, I'm going to say I feel a little bit confident because, one, we could just draw. And nobody's, no, if nobody yeah. scores, I win. Yeah. I'm good. I'm living. I'm living, son. And at the yeah. end of the season, you're you're the one getting punished, not me. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the main goal. But what I will say, so yeah, that's the goal. What Juventus, we know when it comes to Juventus, um, obviously besides the game, last game of uh, Bologna, and it, um, uh, yeah, against Bologna. And then, of course, if you, well, Milik's, Milik's a striker, so we're fine. As long as he's yeah. scoring, we're good. Bend the knee, he's good. Uh, when it comes to Juventus, as anemic as it gets when it comes to the attack, and then I'm going to hope and I'm going to pray that Juventus, when it comes to the defenders, they hold firm. Chesney does his job. No no goal scorers from Maccabi Haifa. I'm living. You lose. You're done, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let, I'll wrap it nice. up for question number three. Yeah. Let's move it on. Question number four. Take it away, sir. 
Right there, three words. Does Moretti start? Um, it's no. Yes or no answer. Yeah, it, no. <laughs> Fairly easy. Um, all the midfielders are fit now except for Paul Pogba. Mm-hmm. And it, Paredes was literally rested on the weekend. Uh, he didn't start. Locatelli, Rabiot are fit. I, I don't see Moretti starting over those three at this point. Uh, he struggled a bit uh, coming into the international break, as did all the Juventus players. But since he's younger and we know Max Allegri, mm-hmm. I think he's going to ride some pine for a bit um, until we get the ship uh, uh, on the road here. Yeah. So I'm going to say not starting for Moretti. <laughs> this is kind of, I mean, this should be a cut and dry kind of answer. It's a yes or no. There are no yeah. other options out there. Yeah. Um, I, I think... <laughs> I, I'm I'm tempted to agree with you and say no. Um, a lot of the reasoning for that, like as you said, I, I guess I have to look into it and say how. I mean, I imagine that Max Allegri is putting the utmost uh, priority on this match, right? So it's a game where uh, I yeah. expect him to go out there and to put whatever he can to win this match. Yeah, he does some stupid things though. So to be <laughs> honest, I can see some nonsensical lineups that don't make sense. Uh, try some, you know, some Andy Fanny uh, lineup that doesn't make any sense to me, and I'm like, why are you doing it? Um, <laughs> though including Medetti in a lineup would not make me question his sanity overall. But at the same time, yeah. I think there are. I think you and I talked about it in the last live we did uh, during the watch along, where I literally said, well, uh, Medetti could he? But then basically you, we were talking about you know putting Paredes out there. Um, yeah. You know, Pogba's healthy. Obviously, Pogba's yeah. not healthy right now. But if you have all those guys in front of him, he loves Rabio. Medetti's going to be on the bench coming back. Um, he won't be starting. Um, so yeah. I agree with you. It's okay. a big fat no on Medetti. I'm sorry, my guy. I um, I did. I, I did. <laughs> I did get your shirt. So I'm not. I'm not hating on you, Medetti. It's not hate on you, sir. It's not. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> promise. All right. Uh, that'll do it for question number four. Wait. Did you? Oh. Lock it in. Lock it the bleep in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now we'll move on. Yeah. yeah. We'll move. Well, we we gotta do our sound effects. We gotta we gotta f- figure out a sound effect. I think I like mine. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, yeah. Okay. I guess I could also just use the soundboard <laughs> during oh, this. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out for the future, guys. All right, this okay. video is gonna go long, so let's let's move it on. Yeah. Number five. Do question Does Juventus. Number five. Does Juventus make a substitution before the 62nd minute? Your turn. Okay, I feel like you did this on purpose. I feel like you you set up these questions in an order. Um, this is a very interesting one to me. Um, I'm okay. Actually, it's, it, I guess it shouldn't really be that hard for me to be honest. Um, okay, I'm gonna say no. And the reason okay. I'm going to say no, uh, obviously there's a few factors that could, could play in. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say Juventus disappoints and is still kind of waiting. Maybe they're up one goal, zero, but they're not comfortable. They're not comfortable yeah. even when they get to the 60th minute. Um, one thing I know about Max Allegri, Pirlo did the same thing. Uh, if there's no reason to make a substitution, he will hold his guys to the 70th minute. And it's like as soon as he, as soon as he gets a timer, on his watch, yeah. if the 70th minute clicks on, oh, now we can start using guys. Now yeah. we'll start switching them out. We'll switch the whole bleeping team out at that point. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> or I'll pull out the guy with the, with um, the hot foot. I was about to say hot hand. Uh, with, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think the only way that he maybe he really does make a substitution is he if he's married to a specific player or if an injury occurs. So I'm going to say Juventus are doing Juventus things. So it gives him a reason to wait until it's closer to the 70th minute before the first substitution happens. Okay. And? Oh. Lock that shit in. <laughs> Good. I need that confirmation before I can move on. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. I don't like this. It's like he's got he's got, a, he's got a rat cornered. And that's how it feels right now. Oh, it feels yeah. like he's got me cornered. I'm going to say, like, you know when... You know when you like it's the field versus like one specific thing yeah. when you're doing bets. Yeah. This feels like one of those questions. Yeah, <laughs> it does. I, I, I'm, I'm taking the field here and saying it's going to make a, a sub before the 60 second minute, That's just fair. because there's so many different variables. There mm-hmm. could be an injury, like you said. Some guy could be like absolute dog shit and mm-hmm. he'd be taken off at halftime. He's yeah. done that in the past. Um, say we are winning three 0 Maybe he takes uh, Rabio out and he or saves him for the weekend because we have a big game against Milan. So there's a lot of factors at play here. 
you have a very likely scenario where we are struggling. <laughs> yeah. But there are so many other factors in this that I'm going to yeah. say he will make a sub before the 62nd minute. Yeah. So I'm going to lock that in. <laughs> and uh, actually, you got to do that's like, it right into the microphone. So it sounds all like this is like <laughs> ASMR and it like turns some people on. It's weird. I don't know why people are in ASMR. It's really strange. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's one of those. Th- that is weird. <laughs> it is weird. I don't know. It's a thing. I don't, I don't know. People pay yeah. for it. I don't know. There's a lot I, of things I people pay that. for out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Th- we have all of our answers out laid out. So let's go ahead and review it real quick and then we'll get yep. us out of here. Obviously, going back to question number one over under amount of cross uh crosses, coal stitch attempts at ten and a half. I took the under, you took the over. Yep. Okay, got that one locked in. <laughs> <laughs> number two, over under amount of attempts for Maccabee Haifa at four and a half. I think I took the over, you took the under, correct? We both went over on oh, this one. We, right. We both went over. Yeah, there we go. See, yep. I'm, already, I'm already trying to, yeah, trying to weasel trying my to way around this. I'm <laughs> trying to screw him. All right. Question number three. Over under amount of goals from the midfielders at one a half a goal. A half a goal. <laughs> um, I was going to say zero point. I don't know why I couldn't couldn't get it out. Um, I, I remember me. Sorry, I forgot about you. I said I said under. You said over, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. We're good. All right, I there we go. Down. I'm, he wrote them down, guys. We're good. All right. I'm just reminding you guys. This is for you all. This isn't for me. Yeah. All right. Does Manetti start? We both said no. Yeah. No. Sorry, Manetti. Not today. Or tomorrow. <laughs> um, not today, Junior. Not today, sir. <laughs> uh, and then finally, does Juventus make a substitution before the, before the sec- 62nd minute? You said yes. I said no. So we are going to have more than likely a disparity in the number of points, how we finished uh, the first. Yep. First match day, prediction yep. match day, not not just the UCL match day, but the yep. more important match day that's occurring today, which will be Julian, Justin, for the trophy at the end of the season. We'll see what the, uh, the actual penalty <laughs> will be. You guys let us know yeah. in the comment section down below if you haven't already. Anything else before we get out of here, sir? You play along at home as well. See yeah. how well you do against us. Yeah, leave your comments in the comment section down below. One through five, give us your answers over, under, does Manetti play, all that good stuff. Let us know. You can join in, and we can keep score throughout the season. Have a lot of fun. Join us in on this. If you haven't already, do me a solid favor. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to stay notified for all of, our fav- uh, all of your favorite videos on our your favorite channel, our channel. Yeah, you know, you love That makes us. sense. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right? Anyway, you can follow <laughs> me at Justin Sofro. You can follow him. At Genoti151 on Twitter. Both of us are on Twitter. And of course, you can follow Bianca Neri Zone at Bianca Neri Zone. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Forza Juve, Forza Bianca Neri. Say it for me. Say hello to all y'all, lady for me. <laughs>